Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to start off with a primer. This one by Urban Decay. Just put that all over the lid and underneath. And blend that in with my finger. Uh, NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and put it all over the lid and on the inner corner but just right here because we're going to put a different pencil along the lower lash line. So I'm going to blend that in with my finger. Now starting with this brush, this is a 213 from MAC, and I'm going to be taking a teal color from MAC. I'm going to be taking this color from MAC, this is aquamarine, so it's like a shimmery, um, like Tiffany's blue, and then on that 213 I'm going to pack it on the inside inner corner. Now this is best when you pack it because then you get more color payoff and it, especially the glitters, you want the sheen to stay on there, it'll stick. I'm going to bring this up, kind of work the shape a little bit into and above the crease. And I'm taking it past where you see here because it's gonna the purple and this color are going to overlap and blend into each other. Now I want to make this a little more blue, so I'm taking just a tad of this color from MAC. This is electric gale. So I'm just taking very little on the other side of my brush and just kind of patting it throughout. I really worked this color to get the correct color that I wanted. I'm going to take this little um, sample baggie I have from Mineral Face Effects. This is in Aquaman. It has a lot of really pretty shimmer. So, um, and that's what I want on top of this color. I want a really pretty sheen on this. I'm going to get that on the brush and pack that over what we just put down. This is going to give us that really pretty sheen we want. We're going to work the shape afterwards. Now let's move on to purple. And I'm going to use my new My Glam um, brush I just got in the mail. I'm going to start off with this color from my Manly palette, my 120 palette. This is also very similar to the Beach Cosmetics um, 120 palette, the first edition. So if you have that, it's basically the same thing. I'm going to take that color, in some on my brush like so, and I'm going to pack that on the outer corner, overlapping that aqua color. The purple is going to go higher than this blue because it's actually going to get drawn in on top to about here. Take this color. So we use that one. I'm going to use this one, this one right here now. I'm going to pack that on top of the purple we just put down. This has a little bit of sheen. And I want to take the same steps I did on the other eye because I want to accomplish, I want to match them as close as possible. Take my blending brush, which is my 224. 
and I'm going to blend these edges. Purple we just used on this 224, like on the tip, and blend this edge. Before we continue with the purple because we're not quite done um, I'm actually going to use a matte white the one from the palette and this wide brush from elf my favorite highlighting brush I'm really gonna get the color on there and then press this into the highlight and then try to blend that edge with a blending brush. Blend, blend, blend. Like that. Now to add a little bit more shimmer and almost kind of change the color. I'm using this new shadow by Mineral Face Effects. I don't know if you can see it. This is called Periwinkle. And it's a very sheer color, but it has a beautiful purple duochrome like you could use this by itself with a wing liner and it's a great color for spring it's super sheer so that same brush we use the purple on just getting a little bit on there and I'm packing that on top of where we put the purple it's gonna kind of cool off that purple a little bit and blend it nicely with that teal And then just because I want to deepen that out of the, I'm going to take this uh, blending brush and then the matte black. And I'm just going to like get it in there a couple times because I don't want a lot. I just want to darken this feet just a little bit. Just for some depth. And then I'm just going to wipe off that brush. And I actually want to put in... A different shade of purple. This is from Mineral Face Effects too. This one is gorgeous. I even forgot I had it. This is called Wicked. So it's a purple, but it's got that teal duochrome. So I just thought it was perfect for this look. I'm going to take that purple brush again. I get very little. And I'm going to put this right here. Like where we would accentuate the depth where we put the black basically. And then the blending brush just to blend it through. So we're done with the top of the lid. Now we're gonna do the bottom of the lid and I'm going to take this pencil. This is by Urban Decay. I got this in the glam bag yesterday as well. I was kind of hoping for the pink one, but that's okay. Um, this is Ransom and it's a 24 seven and I'm gonna line my lower lash line. This doesn't have to be neat because we're gonna blend it out with the, our finger. And then before it sets, take that brush and take that original purple we first used and smudge it underneath. And then we can also take a little bit of that periwinkle color and smudge that on top as well. We got that. Let's do eyeliner. And um, I'm going to use this little art brush I got from the local craft store, Michael's or wherever you prefer. But it looks like this, super teeny tiny. And I'm actually gonna use Wet n Wild's um, cream liner in the black. So, looks like this. I'm gonna do my winged liner. Now take your time with your liner because it is hard to get them to be the same. So, um, I like to start in the middle. shape and kind of fill it in without going straight for the wing because the wing it most definitely is the hardest part so 
So you more or less have the thickness that you want. I like to get more product on my brush. But the best way to do it, depending on how dramatic you want it, um, you want to follow your lower lash line. So you should basically kind of look and see where your lower lash line is. And your wing should follow that. So small little strokes. And then you get your basic line. Kind of check and see if they match. And then I go from this end and draw in. So you have a triangle and then fill it in. And then you can always tweak the shape and the length afterwards. So I like to look at it like this. And mine doesn't look even, but that's because I have an ast astigmatism. My eye isn't perfectly round, it's kind of a funky shape. Which throws me off more often than not when I do my eyeliner, believe me. So I'm just going to extend it a little bit. Waterline. I'm using my L'Oreal Color Beige Black Eyeliner in Carbon Black. Wow. So I did the tight line and waterline. I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. And I'm going to use my telescopic Carbon, carbon Black. It's not my favorite. That dries. Um, we'll do a little bit of cleanup. I'm gonna take this is the brush I use for my foundation, and I'm gonna take whatever's on the messy lid of my foundation just a little bit and clean up any fallout. Use my usual brow filler and thing angle brush, and I'm gonna use. Naked from the Naked palette because I want them filled in but I don't want them super dark and prominent because the eyes are already pretty dramatic. So we have that and then I'm going to set it with some brow set. This one is by MAC and it's in Show Off. So it's a lighter brown, kind of a little bit of red in it. Now I'm just wiping off the excess because there's always too much on the wand. And I'm just gently brushing through the hairs to set them. And this is going to lighten my hair just a little bit. Lashes on. And I'm going to use these. These are the Demi Wispies by Ardell. And as you can see, they're pretty natural. They just give a little bit of fullness. Especially on the outer corner, which is why I like them. And they crisscross like our natural lashes do. So they most definitely are my favorites. If you wanted a more dramatic lash than this, I would recommend getting the regular wispies. They're longer, um, but they still have that natural sort of um, composition to it about them. So I'm just going to take them on my tweezers in the center and I'm going to use my Revlon Precision um, Lash Adhesive. I love this because of the wand. You don't get too much product which is always my biggest problem using the duo but I love the duo as well. This is nice because this gets tacky faster than the duo or the Lash Grip by Ardell. So, and you only need a very little, you can't even see it. It's like an iridescent. So I blow on it real quick and then I pop them on because it literally just takes 
seconds. Put those on. Make sure I get the outer corner where I want it. And then put down the inner corner right there. Then I take the end of my tweezers and push them down. And my fingers kind of melt them together. So you have that for concealer. And I'm using my first My Glam Brush because it's what I like for my concealer now. And I'm using the sheer cover. And I'm going to take the darker one. And I'm just going to run it above my brow for a little bit of a highlight and just kind of perfect that area just a little bit. I'm going to keep with that and cover any blemishes. Take the lighter side. And I'll put that under the eye. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of this Murad Absolute Bronzing Boost on the back of my hand. So, like that much, very little, because I've already put it on this side. I'm just doing this side. And I'm kind of doing this like I would a contour. It's going to be super subtle. And just rub it in. Use all cream blush or cream products, and then I'm going to powder this cream blush. This is um, Afterglow Glide on Cheek Tint by Urban Decay. This is in the color Quickie. So I'm just going to take it on my ring finger. time I did this side. The camera cut off anyway, so I'm going to use Hula Bronzer to contour. Not too much. And up here. And down here. Those voices are my husband and son. Husband just got home from work, so being noisy. Take this brush and this blush is from e.l.f. Pink Passion. Just a little. And I powdered well. The fan brush, I'm just going to take regular highlight. So I'm just going to take um, this color from the Naked Palette as a highlight. keep it pretty natural so I'm going to use natural lip liner by NYX and then I'm also going to use whipped lip gloss and that's it so I hope you all enjoyed this and I will see you all in my next video bye